What's going on, everybody? Thought I would do a collection update. It's been a while since I've done anything on here. And yeah, Saturday night, late, it's like 11 o'clock or so here in New York. Uh, I tried to do this last week and it just didn't happen. So that's okay. Got a couple more things in the mail. Not a lot here. I've been really selective with uh, stuff I've been picking up. So, I uh, hope everybody's doing well, and uh, let's get into it. Uh, let's start with, uh, I got something from Orbit DVD. It's the only non-horror title in all of this. Indiana Jones, 4K edition. Uh, I decided to pick this up because I grew up with these films. Except for the last one, obviously, because it's more recent and it was terrible. But uh, the first three... Um, I love them. Uh, Dr. Jones was a staple in my home growing up, and I remember going to the movies actually to see the last one, uh, The Last Crusade. So, not the last one, but The Last Crusade. And I really enjoyed them, so I decided to pick this up, and I got it from Orbit. Uh, if you haven't bought anything from Orbit DVD, check them out. Small store, brick and mortar, and they ship fantastic. I got uh, a couple from Grindhouse, which if you don't know, uh, Grindhouse is shutting down, Grindhouse Video in Tampa, uh, shutting down but uh, relocating and will be opening under a new name. Uh, I believe it's Knoxville, Tennessee they're moving to, and uh, it's going to have a new name. I think January, February is the opening for that this year, but Grindhouse will be open through the end of the year. And with them being open through the end of the year, they're still doing some pre-orders and getting some stuff in that's coming out, I think he said, until like October. I think that's what Mike had said. Um, but other than that, there's a lot of stuff on the site that's on sale now, will be on sale uh, the more closer it gets to uh, shutdown, because uh, he doesn't want to take everything with him. So I picked up two titles that, one I know I had, or had, uh, I just don't have it anymore. I can't find it. I can't figure out what happened to it. The only thing I'm coming up with is uh, there was time from time I would trade with a friend. And that's the only thing I can think of is that I traded it away. And that movie is, if I can remember, The Dormant Through Blood. Uh, Synapse release. I know I have this movie. <laughs> I so I added it to my car, I was like, nah, I got that, well, let me go look, and literally like like a day, I was just like wandering around in here, like looking around, saying, it's gotta be here somewhere, where is it? Couldn't find it. That's the only thing I was able to come up with, and unfortunately I can't ask my friend because he passed away a couple of years ago. Uh, so, I decided to pick it up. And then I also finally picked up the blue of uh, The Legend of Boggy Creek. Uh, this has been out now a couple years. I wanted to pick it up. It was always super, super expensive, like $30 to get this. Uh, a couple bucks less on Grindhouse. And uh, with the sale and uh, code he had given out to uh, his YouTube people one night who were watching the live video, I was able to get another like 10 or 15% off. I forget exactly what it was. It's been a little bit, I apologize. But uh, yeah, so I got this for around like, like 25. So finally, finally picked this up. I've been wanting that one for a long time because I think we all, anybody that had that, we just had the bootleg from God knows when. Uh, next up from Mondo Macabro, The Frenchman's Garden. I don't know this film. Uh, but it's their limited red case edition, and it's a Paul Nashie film, and I'm a big fan of Paul Nashie, and uh, it sounds really, really good, so um, I decided to pick it up. Uh, I got number 144 out of 1200, because their red case editions are numbered. Sorry for the glare, guys. Oh, you can see me twice. Eh, nobody wants to do that. So, yeah. I didn't pick up their other red case. I think it was just an adult title and yes anybody that's wondering that is water i'm drinking because it was a long hot day with alcohol so 
I don't, I'm not that bad, really. Just having some fun. Who am I kidding? Anyway, next up, uh, this was the, from the Target sale. That was several weeks ago now. Uh, I did two orders. Uh, I did a PSA, too, if anybody saw that. I think it's still on my Instagram channel. I don't think I ever took it down. Because I was seeing people buy, like, 30 movies at a time. And just listing, and they're just all listed in one purchase. And you've got like Friday the 13th box sets, these other box sets, and then things that are like 10, 12 bucks. That are like, of course, you're gonna get the 10, 12 dollar thing for free. Like, this is not the point of the sale. And it just annoyed me. Uh, it wasn't even somebody I knew, it was just some random people on Facebook that I saw doing that, and it just pissed me off. So I did a little PSA of that. How to buy there? Uh, so yeah, I did two purchases. I think it was three titles each. Yeah, three titles each. I don't think these are in the order that I had grabbed them, but whatever. For my two purchases, but they're good to use. Uh, people complain about it. Well, the website sucks, but people complain about it because they don't know how to work the sale and say, oh, it sucks. No. Get some Screen Factory titles on there for $22 each. Buy three of them, get one free. Do the math. It's a pretty good price for Screen Factory titles. And there's a ton of stuff on there. But uh, I'm not going through all that now. I picked up Rasputin, the Mad Monk, Hammer Film, Chris, Christopher Lee. Uh, had the, I had the Region B of this and uh, decided to get rid of it and uh, get the Screen Factory one only because I have one region free player uh, and just the way work has been it's impossible to watch anything uh, region B right now this whole, whole year well, probably since like last October I haven't watched anything region B I don't think maybe one thing but um, no I flipped it to get a region A just so I can watch it at any time I'm laying in bed falling asleep on my commute to work so Happy to have that one as Region A now, and it's been a while since I've seen it and I wanted to watch it. Also picked up the original Saw uh, 4K. I um, had this just on DVD. Thought it was time to upgrade it. The first Saw is a fantastic film. Um, I remember going to see it and really enjoying it. And then obviously the ending, if you haven't seen it at this point kind of late in the game to say it's a spoiler, but uh, I won't say anything. But yeah, the, the ending, we all just sat there like, oh shit. <laughs> so really enjoyed this one. I think I only saw the first three saws and I just bowed out after that, but uh, really, really enjoyed uh, the first one. So happy to have uh, this 4K of it. Unrated. Actually comes with a digital copy too. I might do a giveaway for that soon. Bye. Not tonight though. Uh, next up, Dead of Night, a Kino title. Uh, this is a great film, too. Um, this is another one I'm pretty sure I had, too, and I don't have it anymore. I know I sell some stuff sometimes, but this is a really good film. I wouldn't have sold this. I had to trade it to my friend. Uh, Black and White film from 1945. Uh, it was an anthology if my brain is working right now. But um, I'm not going to sit here and try to read it in the dark, because I have a light over there. And sitting over here, it's dark suck. So, Dead of Night. There's another Kino. There's another Kino? Yeah, another Kino. Uh, this one I actually did not have, but I don't know why I didn't have it. Might have had it on DVD at one time. I don't know. House of Long Shadows. Uh, it's got everybody in it. It's Christopher Lee. Uh, Peter Cushing. Vincent Price. John Carradine. So, um, this is just a classic film that uh, should be in everybody's rotation. It's uh, 1983. And it's Kino. Kino does a good job. They're coming out with so much stuff now that they're doing slipcovers for that I think it's pissing off a lot of people because all their spines are like the same. But now with the slipcovers, uh, people are Kino collectors. I've seen a few like lose their mind about it, but get over it. It'll be fine. You'll live. Oh, the scream, yeah, scream. Uh, the devil rides out. Uh, 
been wanting to pick this one up since uh, this one came out it's a couple of years ago now. But uh, Scream Police is so much stuff that you know you just can't pick up everything. At least I can't. Uh, but yeah, finally grabbed this one. Um, last one from the Target sale. Another Scream title. Ghost Story. Another great film. Needed to be in the collection. So here we go. But I think out of all of this, these three titles, even the even the Saw 4K. I don't even think I spent a, I don't even think I spent a hundred dollars on these because you got one free each time. I forget exactly. Nah, might have been a little bit more than a hundred. Maybe like a hundred three or some stupid number like that. But not bad for all those films. Definitely take advantage of the uh, the Target sales. You just gotta. Their site sucks. You can't really look like, hey, what's in the sale? You just gotta start typing titles in. You have a list. We all have a list somewhere. Just start typing titles in. They're there. Be on the lookout for the next one. These all are from Diabolic. Uh, a couple orders from Diabolic. I think. I think it was three separate orders that came in over the past few weeks. Most of the stuff were pre-orders and a couple here and there were delayed. So I only got all these things maybe the past like week or so. Uh, but yeah, there's some diabolic stuff here. Let's go with this one first. We got the stylist. Uh, Arrow edition uh, slipcover. Um, it was a region that, yeah. Arrow Region A. I don't think this was a Region B release. I think it was just a Arrow US release. Uh, this is independent. Uh, it's great that Arrow released this. The the short is on YouTube if you've never seen it. Um, and I'm looking to know what this is. The short's about 15 minutes long, maybe a little bit less than that. I think that might include the credits and everything. Maybe about 12 to 13 minutes. Um, it's basically about a hairdresser who is also a serial killer. Um, Check out the short on YouTube if you want to know anything about this one. Uh, the short was really good. I'm hoping that the full length is good. This is one of those things that it's a, it, it <laughs> it's something that concerns me. Uh, I definitely wanted to check it out. I've actually heard good things, so I'm not that worried anymore. But one of those things when you're like, oh, the short was great. Oh, now it's a full length. A full length feature? No. Sometimes I feel that the success of something, maybe sh people should just leave it alone and not push it. But uh, it sounds like the uh, everything I've heard about this one is that uh, it was well done. It was a full length. So I look forward to actually seeing it. But yeah, the short is on YouTube. Uh, you can still look it up. It's called The Stylist. And uh, yeah, check it out. The short's really good. Also got this Unearthed films hanger two disc edition uh this just came out eh, a couple weeks ago i think um ryan nicholson i had this one on dvd as well i had this one i know i had actually sold because i knew this was coming out and it's a really fucked up film <laughs> but uh in a way it's entertaining but it's fucked up uh if you know anything about ryan nicholson he makes Rest in peace. He made uh, really fucked up films, and this is one of them. Very gory, uh, all practical effects. Uh, get me twisted to enjoy them. I'm, I'm a little twisted, but uh, this may offend you. This film, so you gotta really want to see some messed up shit. Uh, next one is a Second Sight limited edition, like Mungo. I think. I think Diabolic, I think it took them a while to get this in, or they just had so many orders, it took a while to get it out. I was seeing everybody popping up with this one, and I don't like being that guy, but I reached out to Jesse, because I went on the site and it said out of stock, and uh, I just asked him, didn't ask where my order was, just if they ever actually come in, and he said, yeah, they came in, we we're just working through all the orders, so, yeah, cool. And yeah, first mine got out when it got out, which was fine. Uh, I have not seen this one. I've heard mixed things, more good than bad, but uh, 
really wanted to check it out and uh, it's one of the second sites limited edition sets that are super super nice so you can't go wrong with second site edition I decided to pick that one up now that <laughs> I'm sorry I'm laughing because oh, alright let's do it in this order so I guess it was probably May uh, nobody remembers this, of course, but you take the time and you're bored sitting on the toilet or something. Uh, go back on my Instagram and I had posted something in May, uh, a meme that I made using the, uh, the guy with two faces, like a really excited face on top and then a shocked kind of face on the bottom, uh, saying, hey, I see everybody's, order, everybody's showing off this thing that I ordered. And the bottom part with the shocked face is basically said I checked my order status and I ordered something with it that came out in July which I didn't even realize at the time that I did it uh, oops so what is it that was came out in May that uh, I didn't get until I think Friday yesterday with the weird Wisconsin set from Arrow uh, as I said they, I think this came out mid-May uh, it was before Memorial Day, so it was, I think it was around like mid-May it came out, and um, I saw everybody showing it off. I was like, ah, I can't wait to get my. And time was going by, time was going by. I'm like, oh, where is this thing? And I went back and looked, and I saw that I had two things in the order: this and something else that just came out. I think last week. Oops, <laughs> I, think, I haven't done that much. I try to really pay attention to that, but. Yeah, I screwed that one up, but uh, yeah, limited edition set. I'm pretty sure this is uh, still available, but uh, I've seen a lot of people show this off. So, like all Arrow sets, these all sell out. Uh, let's see, we got the, who was Bill? Who was Bill Rebane? The game, Twisters, Revenge, The Alpha Incident, The Demons of Ludlow, Monster A Go Go, Invasion from Inner Earth. You know, the book poster all the arrow's great with this their, their sets they do of all these things are great and uh, my brain is escaping me right now they did another set uh, similar to this with uh, oh, uh, William Griffey uh, Florida set with similar type of artwork and whatnot so yeah those are the most recent independent uh, directors they released so definitely looking forward to checking this out and I gotta say, I'm a little bit. These are slimline cases. I'm actually okay with that. I mean, some of the some of the arrow sets, especially the older ones like the Vincent Price set and whatnot. I mean, the the thing has got to be double the size of this, and it's like six movies uh, because it's just the regular cases and all that. So I'm I'm kind of happy just for shelf sp <laughs> shelf space wise. I mean, I got stuff behind me over here. I got stuff over there. I got stuff over there. I got shit everywhere. So space wise, thank you, Arrow. And then what was the July title? <laughs> Dead and Mary. Ooh, uh, I love these lenticular covers from uh, uh, Blue Underground. Um, I decided to go with uh, this cover, uh, besides the fact of an eye, any eye things making people uncomfortable. Um, I kind of like having slip covers that have a different cover than the original art, uh, just so that I can have Two different things like if there's a slip and it's the plain old original art um I'm okay with it but i'd rather have something different even though the mega art is uh original art's fantastic i really like it uh but that'll be the inside when you take this out so and just like the splinter cover from uh full cheese zombie gotta have it gotta have it Really cannot wait to check this out. I've heard it looks absolutely fantastic. Some new extras, CD soundtrack, and uh, if you don't have a 4K, uh, there's a regular Blu-ray in here as well, which I believe has the film part of my eyes and the goddamn lighting. And we have Thunder too. Fantastic. Hopefully I don't lose power. I don't know. I can't see. My eyes are shot. Or drunk. Or whatever. 
And this, I think this also came in Friday. I don't know. The Wraith. Uh, early Charlie Sheen film. God, I haven't seen this since video rental days, but uh, I decided to pick it up. Uh, Vestron. I don't know what their deal is. I don't know where they're going. If they're going to continue. I mean, obviously, they've done a few things. They seem to be continuing. But a lot of them, I mean, there's a decent amount of special features and whatnot. But, um, and there's actually a digital too. But they've been pretty inexpensive, which I guess isn't something to really complain about. Um, released a few good titles in the past few releases that have been cheap, like uh, Shiv with the Gmo Shivers, Little Monsters, uh, Wraith. I think those are the only the three that were that cheap. When I say that cheap, like 15 bucks. Uh, I think when they first started, they were around like 27, 28 dollars. Um, but yeah, I decided to pick this one up just because it's been a super long time and I had seen a trailer for it recently, knowing that this was coming out. And yeah, I decided to scoop it up. And the last one, I'm happy, I'm sad. Um, the Monster Collection, uh, three disc Blu ray edition. Um, it's super long, I obviously haven't watched it yet, it's still sealed, I just got it, but, um, it's super long, it's 12 hours of bonus material, but, um, reading the description of it when it was first put on Diabolic and other places, sounded really interesting, sounded like a very good documentary, um, Stoppelganger is their company, uh, knowing that it was coming with... Wraith, I was very excited, and then when I got it, I was incredibly disappointed, uh, because it is a flimsy digipack, basically. Um, it's, might not be able to see it, but if you can see it, oh, uh, there we go. You can see there's a split there. So, that's, that's the design, it's not that it's split in the shipment, uh, it's gonna do a diabolic or anything like that, but because it's a digipack it will open like this and I don't know if you'll even see it here yeah you can kind of see it so it's split like this because it folds out multiple times so the cardboard packaging has to be like the panels need to be like this thin each and you can see it's kind of squashed and over here is messed up and whatnot because it's super thin and super fucking cheap. And again, the condition of this, uh, nothing to do with Diabolic. They have nothing to do with this. The box was fine. Post office doesn't even have anything to do with this. This was just a release that uh, probably cost them a little bit of money and they went super cheap on the packaging uh, to try to make more money on the release and yeah it's super disappointing I mean it's three discs I'm not a fan of not a big fan of the uh, the tray on the inside of a blu-ray case that uh, seems to separate and break kind of easily but I would much rather have had that maybe with a slipcover and because the case hey it's a Blu-ray case, pain in the butt that maybe mid the tray breaks or something like that, but you can easily get that replaced. Uh, this is just a digipack, so I bet you if I reached out to Jesse and say anything about it, saying like, yeah, it came kind of messed up or like that, I bet you would say, yeah, they're all like that, because this, this is a cheap piece of shit. Uh, he may not say that, but I'm saying it. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure, I'm, I'm sure I'm going to enjoy it, I'm sure I will get past it, but, uh, doppelganger come on let's you, you do this release which looks fantastic sounds fantastic I should say and you put it in a cheap piece of cardboard I don't understand that well, that's it that's all I got um, still have a few things coming that have been most of my stuff has been all like pre-orders haven't been grabbing a bunch of stuff uh, the biggest disappointment right now is I have not gotten my uh, uh, Never Hike in the Snow Indiegogo backed Blu-ray. 
uh, which is not the fault of uh, Womp Stomp. Uh, they sent it out uh, June 10th, and it's been sitting in New Jersey uh, since the 18th of June. So it's been there almost a month. Uh, I did a like mail search thing. I heard nothing, gotten nothing, nothing's moved, uh, no news of anything. I finally reached out to uh, Womp Stomp, re replying to the email that had the tracking number and all that stuff so they can see that it's just been sitting there and whatnot and they're really real cool about it they just got back to me and that said that they, they will they'll send another one out um hopefully that one will come <laughs> again no fault of theirs this is the stupid post office i've normally been having pretty good luck with a lot of stuff getting stuff early and pretty quick and whatnot but lately the past few weeks have been like massive delays with some things things just sitting places for long time and not even just like media mail uh i don't know why i, I thought we were past all this shit but uh yeah it is what it is also have uh yeah a few things in the mail that are just <laughs> sitting in limbo one right <laughs> i think another one uh is in california it just shipped and left the post office went to the distribution center and it's been sitting there for like six days now so i i don't know what's going on with the goddamn mail again but It'll show up. It'll get here, and uh, yeah, that's all I got. So have a good night, everybody. Uh, you, you may see this tomorrow because I'm lazy, and I may not post this until tomorrow. Uh, but if I do, thanks for watching. Whenever I do, I'm gonna post this. Oh, God, I'm just gonna shut up now. Good night. <laughs>